Hello and welcome to the Sketching Greyhound. Today we will be drawing somebody that I have been thinking about for a long time to draw. It is Letty from The Greatest Showman, you have seen that in the thumbnail probably, played by the amazing Yala Settle. Something I was wondering about throughout the whole movie is how close to reality is that story really. And yes, of course, it's a musical, so a couple of things are quite far away from the actual facts. But it's also a little bit more than just inspired by the past. So a lot of the characters actually existed, fairly romanticized in the movie. But Letty, for example, the bearded lady, she really existed. Well with a different name, but we will talk about that in a second. So let's get on with the drawing. But first, what actually is a bearded lady? That one is easy enough. It is a female with a naturally occurring beard. Normally this is caused by hirsutism. I hope I'm saying that right. This means it is restricted to females and only causes excessive hair growth in the face. So a beard, generally. This is completely natural, but doesn't happen so often, so if you imagine in a world that's not like our own, meaning connected via the internet and everybody sees everything that's happening 24-7, people did not see this very often. So this was a sensation and not even everyone believed in this, because they never saw it with their own eyes. And that's the reason why it got so attractive for P.T. Barnum's circus. For the movie they did not only change the name of the bearded lady, there were actually also two. So the first one that joined Barnum Circus was Josephine Clofuya. She already began touring in Europe with 14 years old actually. To point out how special a bearded lady at that point in time really was, a dude named William Char took her to court and she actually had to defend that she is a woman. That is extremely offensive if you ask me. In my opinion, it actually becomes a lot worse even. <laughs> that it is said that P.T. Barnum himself arranged for this to drum up uh, some controversy for his circus. Even if she was completely in on it herself and also just wanted to drum up more publicity, this is a pretty shitty thing to do if you ask me. But apart from being an actual attraction in a wandering circus, her life was actually pretty normal. She had a husband, a painter she met in France, she had two children, so generally an almost normal life, I would say. The second bearded lady of P.T. Barnum's circus was Annie Jones and she became pretty popular. From everything I could gather, she seemed to be quite a fascinating young woman. She did not only become the spokesperson for the performers of the circus, she also actually fought against the word freaks that was still widely used at that point in time. So she was kind of an activist trying to show people that the performers were just different, not really not normal. Annie was also married, got divorced and married again, but she didn't have any children as far as I could see. So I think apart from all those heartless, strange people who did not like the movie at all, you can probably very roughly divide the people who liked the movie into two categories. The ones who really liked it and were happy that those historic times, those bigots, the discrimination has been left behind. And the ones who know that we're not there yet. If you want a successful movie, you choose to do one that is resonating with the audience on an emotional level. And resonating this movie did very much. The incredibly iconic song This Is Me, sang by Kiala Settle as Lady Lutz, is just so strong and has inspired so many people to sing it in their own way because of their own reasons. I mean, you're on YouTube, so you can check out how many of those videos, if you haven't seen them yet, of people performing This Is Me very emotionally. Not the least Kiala Settle herself. In about every version of the song that she sings, she is on the verge of tears and you can see that very much. So it also resonates a lot with her. 
The song and her story in the movie just is something that some people are forced to live every day still today. Just like Annie Jones over 100 years ago fought for her performing friends to not being even called freaks, a lot of people are trying to fight for that today. Just to not be called freaks. Or like Josephine had to do in court, just defend that they are not lying, that they really are who they say they are. A lot of people today have to fight still for their rights and to be able to decide for themselves what is best for themselves against people that are not just ill-informed about how, how they feel and what they perceive and what they live through every day, but who also just should not have any say in how they live their life and what they need for their lives to be happy and fulfilled. So if you don't have a lot of contact with people who are lesbian, gay or trans or struggle in another way to be just accepted by society, please try to keep in mind that those people are not trying to change the world to mirror what they are, how they are, what they feel. They don't try to change you. Most of them are actually not trying to change anything. They are just trying to live their lives normally. Just like Josephine and Annie had their normal lives beside the circus. They are not trying to change how you live. They are fighting for the right to live their lives how they need to. And for everybody out there who is living this struggle every day, please be aware that there are places and people where you can just be who you are. Like this channel, it's, it's a small space, but I promise you I try to make this channel a place where everybody is welcome and nobody should be afraid. And always remember the iconic lines of Letty Lutz in This Is Me, because it applies to you. There's nothing you're not worthy of. But that's enough of the serious stuff for now. <laughs> so, about the picture. I actually was thinking about not drawing Letty Lutz, but one of the actual bearded women, but, well, difficult to say what, what sparked my decision. For one, I really love the movie and the, the emotionality in it, so I really wanted to draw her, so let's probably just leave it like that, so <laughs> I think that's a good enough reason. I think the biggest struggle I had with this picture is on the hair. <laughs> that there is just, per definition, a lot of hair and I really wanted to do it justice and also get in some highlights, the, the dark areas and all of that. And it, it could still be cleaner, but I think it works well enough, so I'm quite, quite okay with that. I'm quite happy with how that turned out. The part that I also honestly really like uh, are the eyes. They, I think, look pretty close to, to her, to how she looks in the movie, how she looked on the picture I took to draw her, and so I'm also quite happy with that. There is a lot of good things I'm seeing here, that's not too often the case, so let me just be <laughs> for once really happy with the picture I produce, so yeah. So I'm really happy with the picture. I haven't said that very often, so <laughs> I really am. So I hope you also liked it and thank you very much for making it until now in the video. So it's only a small step now to also give me that like and the subscription. I would very much like to welcome you to the next video again, so don't forget to also ring that bell. But that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, have the greatest of days and goodbye.